So there were some photos in the wild leaked of this bike which we think is a specialized Tarmac SL7. Now the previous generation Tarmac was launched before the Tour de France 2017 and while there were some complaints that it took some cues from the BMC team machine especially at the seat tube we think it was one of the best climbing bikes of the last three years and also the most aerodynamic up to the launch of the Super 6 Evo. It seems like this model was supposed to launch before Tour de France 2021 but has now been postponed till August for the coronavirus pandemic. Okay, I'll let you ponder over the aerodynamic differences of some climbing bikes. This was measured at 30 miles an hour. It is rumored that if the tarmac is closed enough to the wedge in terms of aerodynamics then Specialized may discontinue the wedge. We will wait and see but this is something Pinarello has done for long where their bikes are aero enough without being out and out aero and at the same time light enough to stick very close to the 6.8 kg UCI mark. The most notable change to the tarmac include changes to the stem where the key was rounded semi externally on the SL6 what we have on the SL7 resembles the neatly integrated stem setup on the winch very closely. This is a significant difference to racers as integrating cables as per specialized say could gain you 12 seconds over 40 kilometers, a not so inconsequential gain if you are racing as pro. The seat post has a big bulge around the top akin to the winch for the DI2 junction box. There appears to be more clearance for wider tires we reckon up to 32 mil. One of the major and under the skin changes include a threaded bottom bracket for all models which might not be the most optimum in terms of power transfer but is very easy to repair. Will there be any rim version? We don't think so. The SL6 in 2017 and 18 had some rim versions in the expert and Xbox range but in 1920 went disc only. So if that is a sign of things to come, rim brake aficionados might look elsewhere. At bikes like the new generation TCR SL rim and the Pinarello Dogma F12 rim version. We expect the SL7 when it comes out to be one of the best all-round race bikes out there and it's over to Trek to show what they can do with the Imonda and BMC with the team machine as they are due an update. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.